Adam here and I'm back with another tutorial video for you guys um, this isn't going to be a tutorial on motion graphics or connect typography or anything like that this is going to be an effects tutorial um, it's going to be a kind of uh, uh, teleporting um, effect uh, like a glitchy kind of uh, teleporting effect and um, it's what you just saw basically <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that and um, yeah uh, for the tutorial or for the effect you're gonna need um, your footage obviously but with your footage you're gonna need a clean plate and you're also gonna need the footage itself so what I mean by that is like, what oh god anyway what I mean by that is if you come over to my footage here you'll see I have a shot where he's in the f in the frame and then I have my clean plate which is where he's out of the frame um, and one more thing I actually didn't shoot on a tripod because I didn't have a tripod with me but if you do have a tripod I do recommend shooting with a tripod because if the camera is not in motion um, it's a lot easier to do this effect uh, because obviously the clean plate has to be exactly the same as the the frame where he's in it so if you make any movements like you can see here my um, cupboards uh, looking like they're going lower and higher that's because my hands shaking and it's hard to keep a steady hand but um, it's alright I can still show you guys how to do that um, but I do recommend using a tripod or you know some kind of rigging system to make sure your your cameras always getting the same same shot for your clean plate as the shot with your actor in it um, so yeah let's jump straight into a tutorial now um, on after effects you're just gonna wanna go ahead and import your footage like so and drag that into a new composition like so and I'm just gonna cut it down because obviously you guys don't need to see all of this stuff over here um, doo -doo 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 -doo. and I'm just gonna show you how to do this so I'm gonna cut from here uh, which is the first time he teleports right here so he's holding this plate of chips taking food to people upstairs or wherever you know and he's done teleporting right here and what you want to do is just cut your clip okay um, obviously you have whatever you have before that's um that's what that's up to you I don't know what kind of footage you're editing or whatever but um yeah so you cut your clip just after he's done doing the kind of movement for the teleporting and now what you want to do is bring in your clean plate so just delete the excess stuff because I don't need it and we're gonna bring that in and bump into our timeline um, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna decide how long you want your effect to be obviously that you have to figure that out while you're recording as well so your um, actor knows how long to make his movement for the teleportation or you know how if you're doing him jumping in the air um, you need to know when he should jump and things like that so you need to decide how long you want the effect to take maybe it's a second maybe it's half a second um, it's up to you I'm gonna go with you know just about half a second barely half a second um, and yeah so I'm just gonna hit the asterisk key I believe it's called to create a book a checkpoint or bookmark whatever you want to call it and you're gonna get that right there just so I know where I want the effect to start 
and I'm gonna go ahead and bring my clean plate in and start that there and bring it under now one thing with my clean plate like I said I was recording um, with no tripod so like you can see over here everything is kind of out of its place so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move the position around and match it up because I can do that and it doesn't matter and yeah that looks okay to me so you can bring that back under and we can start this so what we're doing here is we're going to be doing some masking and keyframe masking now there is other ways to do this uh, we could rotoscope and yeah I don't I'm not the best at rotoscoping I kind of get a gist of it and I kind of understand it but I'm still learning that myself so for now we're gonna stick to the you know the old ways and uh, we're gonna mask make it sound like masking was something done in like 1980s um, so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and start masking out his uh, body shape now it doesn't have to be anything crazy um, but with that being said if you do want a kind of really precise mask it will give you a better effect um, because if so here's a here's a example so say if I was to mask here just like this okay and I was to apply the effect now I don't know whatever my effect is okay I don't I'm not doing an effect as of right now but actually yeah let's just add something so let's go to generate and add a light burst like you can see it's gonna come out past his body and it's gonna be showing maybe the effect happening over here on this cupboard uh, the effect happening up on this cupboard on this bag and you don't really want that you want the effect obviously he's the one teleporting so um, you want it to be focused on him so yeah let's delete that mask um, but just for tutorial sake and for time sake I am not gonna do a perfect mask and I'm just gonna you know roughly go around this like so still have the, the basic shape in there but I'm not connecting it to his body and keeping it close I'm not gonna do anything crazy detailed here just very quick very easy mask and done so that's our mask right there um, what you can do is you can go and click F on your keyboard while on that layer and just bring up the feather and what that does is kind of eases in that line right there so if I was to take this back down to zero you can see this line right here where the mask stops um, so yeah if you feather it it just kind of blends it in a little bit better um, now what you're gonna do is you actually have to keyframe this mask as well I'm gonna go ahead and change my color just so it'll be easier to see um, you have to keyframe this mask so you want to hit this stopwatch right here uh, for the first frame of where your effect is starting bang stopwatch and I'm gonna go about halfway through and I'm just gonna realign my my mask points to where my character is now standing and just like so do that bloody hell. always do that when I'm rushing my mask I tend to click and drag and what that does it creates a curve so I do that a lot of times bloody hell. that's gonna get annoying for me ain't it anyway there we go and now that you've done that you just want to go to the end and you again just want to reposition your mask to the shape and the movement of where your character has moved Oh 
video. thing I'm gonna say before I carry on is obviously your character has a shadow so let me just show you you can see a shadow just over this cupboard right here right there that's my character shadow so it's up to you if you want to go ahead and create another mask just masking around that shadow um, just so you can have that in there um, I do recommend you do that but I'm not going to do it just for uh, time's sake so once you've got the mask of your character done you can start to apply your effect now oh forgot to say one very important thing make sure you split your clip before like or just as your effect is starting on the keyframe your effect is starting and you're not applying to the mask to the first layer you're applying it to this layer where the movement is happening for the teleportation um, so for this effect you saw that it was kind of like a pixelated uh, dissolve out of the screen with some some RGB and some twitch um, that's basically what the effect is so the first thing you want to do is come up to effects up here go to your transitions tab and you're gonna find block dissolve um, in block dissolve you can see you get this kind of grainy dissolve instead of the pixelated dissolve we want um, all you have to do is uncheck soft edges and bring up the width to about 20 and you have to make sure the height is corresponding with it so it's at 20 as well and now if we bring it up you can see you get that pixelated effect that I had so yeah you're just gonna come to the beginning where you're starting check the stopwatch which creates a keyframe go to the end and bump that all the way up to 100 and that's the start of your effect um, the next thing we did was oh, the next thing I did was add a linear wipe I believe and what this does is it reveals your layer or unreveals your layer from uh, an angle of your choosing um, in this case I want to do um, it unrevealing my layer from top to bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and type in 180 degrees as my angle and set this to zero now I'm gonna go ahead and hit stopwatch again go to the end of my layer and bring it to 100 and now as you can see it goes down and it just gets rid of uh, the top and keeps going down until it has nothing there okay so this is the next part as well I was talking about with twitch um, if you have twitch then great you can use this and um, you'll have no problem it's gonna look exactly how it did in the video you saw if you don't have twitch there is an alternative option unfortunately it does not look the same and um, it does not look as good now I am gonna bring out a, a second little video to this in uh, a few days on showing you how to do um, RGB and in that you're gonna see me showing you how to do the R RGB um, without the twitch effect without the twitch plugin so let me show you what I mean by RGB if you don't know what that means um, so this is RGB if I could this right here you see these colors red green blue RGB red green blue um, it's just the colors from his body kind of come out to the sides and yeah that's what RGB is so I'm gonna be doing another tutorial on how to incorporate that into your teleport um, teleport effect um, but for now this effect is with twitch so that's what I'm going to be showing you it with 
and I will show you the other way but just without the RGB for now um, so what you want to do is there is a there is actually a good preset one um, da -da 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 -da, uh, animation preset god damn I think it is bad distortion so if you open up bad distortion yep there it is um, you're gonna get that RGB effect and I do recommend you bring your amount down to about 60 because that is a little high maybe even 50 actually and um, yeah you can mess around with it um, I'm gonna keyframe my speed and bring it up as it gets to here just so you can get some more twitching in there but that's um, basically the effect uh, it's a fairly simple effect and it is a very cool looking effect um, you can use it in you know sci-fi short films or skits or something cool you're doing I don't I don't know college projects um, just find a use for it really it's um it's a pretty cool effect so if we just take a look at that stupid sound and obviously you can add sound effects make it look or feel more realistic and um, yeah so I'm gonna quickly show you on uh, something you can do without twitch obviously like I said it's not as effective um, but if you go ahead and click on your layer and bring up your position by hitting P on the keyboard and we're gonna go ahead and checkpoint our position and we're just gonna move forward by frame by frame and mess around with the position of our character so frame by frame messing around with the position of our character just like so get the gist I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the last three keyframes and then duplicate it um, so once you've done that what you can do is up here just uh, make sure your motion blur is enabled then apply it to your layer and it's gonna give this cool kind of glitchy effect um, jumping all over the place kind of thing and again it's not the same like I said but it looks fairly cool maybe if you slow down the movement as well um, that does look a bit too fast obviously it's all up to you personal preference and that so yeah um, that's a, a way you can do it without without um, twitch um, but that's pretty much the video so if you did enjoy um don't forget to leave a like comment um it, obviously if you need any help with anything just drop a comment and i'm sure i'll see you in the same day and i'll get back to you with it um but yeah uh thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video if there's anything um you want me to do a tutorial on specifically just let me know if i can do it i will do it and uh yeah peace guys